Good morning. Uh, this is uh, Pascal, or otherwise known as Irish Chippy. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of a Ryoba saw, uh, Ryoba Compact. Now, uh, before I start, uh, this one is for poor man's DIY, which is Richard and Jennifer over in Hawaii. Hawaii is just across the ocean here in the Pacific. Not, I'm in the Philippines. Uh, the Ryoba, the Ryoba Compact. Uh, it's 180 millimeters long, so that would be what seven and a half inches, something like that. Uh, compared to compared to uh, a full size one, you see full size one here, and we compare the size of them. Uh, why would you use the compact? Well, the compact is a one you use for one with one hand. Okay, so normally you would use a, a, the saw. Uh, this one you can use this with two hands, like like this, like with big planks. Big, but uh, I might review this one later, but most people have this big one. The small one today, uh, that, that's 240, mil that's 240 millimeters, which is uh, four and four is eight, nine, ten, ten inches or whatever. Uh, nine and a half inches, actually. Uh, so I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to use this today, of course, as well. Uh, I have to leave the fan on over here, I apologize, because... Uh, I'm leaving it on because it's piping hot even though it's only 8.30 in the morning, it's over 30 degrees outside. I mark it out with the marking gauge. I'm not going to do a, a, a tutorial on actually doing how to do a tenon. There's different ways of doing it, but marking gauge is the way I'm teaching the students here. Uh, so after you do it with the marking gauge and, the, and uh, cut the shoulders with the knife, uh, just run the pencil into the trench. It'll be easier to see. As with all tenons, you start off on the top of the tenon. I'll show you now. Well, the way I learned in school, anyway. So, what we would do is, because the Ryoba has two blades on it, the fine side there on the top here, I'm showing you on the top here, uh, and the rough side. The rough side is for cutting tenons, but uh, the, the, the fine side is for cutting the shoulder. But for starting off on the tenon to get the first uh, line cut, uh, we will use the, the fine part, okay? So we, get, uh, we will hold this one up fairly straight and we will come to the side of the line and we're pulling, remember? And we're going to try and go down about uh, maybe two millimeters, something like that. This is definitely a one hand saw. Tighten your vice. Now, I'm going down a few millimeters there on that. That's fine. That one. And then I'll do the same on this one. Everyone might have their own way, but that's the way I tra tra training the students. That's the way I learned in school. And so now we will do the rough one. I don't need glasses, actually. I only need it for drawing. I see better without them. So, so this is a little bit rougher cut, but much quicker. Now we're down already. They're fairly quick, so. A little bit rough in the beginning, but we're okay. Not quite down to the line. Almost down. And then we turn it around and we do the exact same on the other side. We don't need to find one back into the rough. And we cut down and we're going to, because it's almost square joint, we're going 45. And then onto the other one. This is quicker than a back saw. I find it is. It's, it's easier to do. Uh, for someone using Western tools all the time, if they're really 
using Western tools, this, they, they should take to this really, really easy. So now I've cut down, now we're going to cut, it doesn't matter which side we go now, I'm going to cut it squ square now, I'm going to bring the saw down to here, so I'm going to be, you'll be going like this, you'll be going like this, and like this, looking in this camera. So, uh, then I'll finish off the cut, and you watch. In Japanese carpentry, they will not go down to the line. They will finish off the last bit with a chisel. But as I'm doing this for, I'm not doing a Japanese lesson. I'm showing you the, I'm showing you the actual, I'm doing an actual review on this. I'm not going to go into using uh, real fine. Uh, maybe I will do some Japanese joints later on and then we will use the chisel. Now, so then we've got our two tenons done. Now we're going to do the shoulder. We call this the shoulder of the tenon. I think <laughs> it's a long time since I've done my apprenticeship. And uh, so uh, I'm going to cut the shoulder. I might put my glasses on for this because I went close to it. Yeah. Make sure, always make sure your piece of wood is straight in the, in the vise because if it's crooked in the vise, you, you, you are you might be inclined to, uh, to cut the piece of wood crooked because you'll cut it with gravity or with... The, so, uh, that's what I was telling my students last week. A lot of them put the wood into the... Uh, now we're using the fine one for this, the fine teeth here, sorry, here, the fine teeth. So I use my thumb to get started. And then you look back and you're coming down. Nice and slowly. There. And there's a the ten in one side, shoulder cut, square enough, yes. I'm not going to do a mortis. I have a mortis done here. I've done a mortis just before, but this video is not about mortis. Uh, we'll try the other side. It's so easy to use this saw. It's much easier to use than a back saw. Well, back saw is also called a tenon saw. In, in, in Europe, we would call it a tenon saw. In the US, you would call it a back saw. It's called a back saw because it's got a back on it. There's a back saw. There's the back on it that keeps the blade. But that saw take that blade, and this saw is so heavy. Now, so we have a tenon done. There you go, look. That's a tenon done. Now, have we got a mortise to put it into? Mm. I'm not sure if this is the same mortise, but anyway. Yeah, the, there's a mortise here. It's a bit tight for this mortise. Uh, the Japanese would get the, the chisel now, and it would, I have a tiny little bit left there, so I will use the chisel on it. Like that. Uh, Just a little bit of saw marks there, and uh, don't get excited, don't. Don't take too much off. In carpentry, you can't put wood back on. And I see, is there a little saw mark on the other side as well? Oh, there is a little saw mark here. Uh, just slightly off, you're talking about maybe one quarter of a millimeter. That tenon, I didn't, uh, that mortise, I didn't really, a bit tight, let's see, oh yeah, it's tight inside, I can see it, you should put this in the vise or with a clamp when you're doing this, I should have prepared this uh, as mortise beforehand, but anyway, so uh, we push this in, no, oh, will it push in, might be a bit tight,
Mm, it's a little bit tight, but it's it's a good job. We no, I, I, I just tap it. Slide a little bit this way. There we go. There's a little bit sticking out on the end. Uh, no, you wouldn't even get a hair in there. Uh, this is live done now. I didn't. I'm not uh, redoing something. Uh, Plane it off then in the end. So. Clean off the end green then to make it look nice. Less is more. Now, there's your tenon. There's your joint there. That's the pencil line you see there. There's not a hair there. I'll get the eraser on that and you can take it out. Uh, good there as well. Good there as well. So this is a... Once again, uh, thank you very much for watching this short video on uh, the Ryoba, the Ryoba uh, Compact. Uh, the Ryoba Compact, I will put a link on the bottom where I got them from. Uh, it'll be my affiliate link. but. Uh, um, thank you once again for watching our sm uh, small humble channel here. Um, once again, uh, thank you uh, for Jennifer and Richard of Poor Man's DIY. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, basically, anyone can make this uh, can make this joint. Uh, if you like this video, there, there's spare blades here. If you like this video, uh, please uh, consider subscribing up here or. I think it's up there, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a nice weekend.